In today's episode, we're exploring several long abandoned buildings of a massive asylum somewhere in the south. The hospital opened in the late 1800s as one of the first psychiatric hospitals for African Americans. Many of the patients here were actually of sound mind, but were committed indiscriminately by court order and made to work the field surrounding the hospital as a form of therapy. In reality, it was just another way in which white southerners were trying to find loopholes around slavery following the Civil War. Eventually, the hospital was desegregated in the 60s, but following the rise of psychotropic drugs and nationwide trends of deinstitutionalization, most of the buildings became abandoned. In part one of this exploration, we're focusing on the Asylum's Medical Building, which was constructed in the 1920s. Join us as we venture inside and discover what's left. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Bright Cellars. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription founded by two MIT grads who wanted to help people discover wines they love. On their website, you take a 30 second quiz and the algorithm matches you with wines you're guaranteed to like based on your taste profile. Every personalized wine comes with an educational card that provides serving and pairing tips. And as you receive different wines, you can rate and give feedback on the selections. The more you rate them, the better your matches get. Plus, their delight guarantee means if you don't love a bottle, Bright Cellars will send you a replacement. I tend to prefer full-bodied reds, but I'm always open to trying something new. Their quick quiz matched me with the World Line Cabernet, Silver Scape Syrah, Folk and Fable Cabernet, and the Azuli Sauvignon Blanc. Plus a few others that are different from what I usually drink, just to mix it up. Try Bright Cellars today and get 50% off your first six-bottle box that you're guaranteed to love at brightcellars.com slash proper people. Okay, you can tell us it's going to be a pretty old school yeah, hospital classic. from the color scheme. These bricks. Classic peach and teal. I like it. The ceiling is just concrete, but yeah. we are in the basement. It's an elevator here. What is this here? Is that like a knitting It's thing? teal. The teal and peach. What a good color scheme. Yeah, the color scheme is very reminiscent of other good asylums we've done. It's all crawl space. A lot of it's just crawl space down here. Fresh pizza. Oh shit, there's a morgue down here. Oh wow, these are the freezers. <laughs> well, that's the easiest we've ever found a morgue. Just ran right into it. Tables in here. Sip in the autopsy table. Wow. Well, this place is already going pretty well. Yeah, first thing we see. Jeez. Fresh autopsy table. Look at the ceiling, though. It's, it's just the supports. Even, yeah. The concrete. It really is just shoved in the basement. The wall doesn't even go up to the ceiling on the side. There's pipes going from the table and then up to this radiator, it looks like. No, it goes into oh, the wall. Oh, it goes into the wall. It. Okay. This might have been like a retrofit. I'll yeah. Talk to you Interesting. Yeah, we honestly have not ever found that many autopsy yeah. tables. It seems like. Can you even think of other autopsy, autopsy tables, tables that we found? No, not off the top of my head. No. It there has like to have been something else, but I can't think either. Of it. Hospitals still use their autopsy rooms. They don't abandon them, or they build new ones, abandon the old buildings, and then rip out the autopsy. Yeah, rooms. they're usually removed. Yeah. Yeah. Spider webs all in the door frame. So they had six coolers in here. 
Mm -hmm. What's in the back here? Does the drawer pull out still? It's just electric. Electric, yeah. Let's see. Let's try this one. Will there be a body in here? Huh? Just turf liner. Turf liner. <laughs> that one's empty down there. That's not a good noise. No. It's the Jewett Refrigerator Company, based in Buffalo, New York. Look at this stuff. It has a gauge on it, some paper graphs. It says, McKesson Recording Metab Metabolizer. Metabolizer? Or just Metabolizer? Metabolizer. <laughs> There's a chart on it. All kinds of stuff. It's a pretty decayed stairwell. Wow. Wow. This There's is a lot of decay. awesome already. There's also something behind me. Another staircase and hallway. What is that room? The elevator? Oh, that is an elevator, yeah. I'll take a peek in here okay. first. We'll go this way smaller. First. Housekeeping. Um, this is not smaller. It goes in two directions. Dude, I love this color scheme in here. This is big. This is big. Okay, we um just have to pick a direction here. Because it keeps going as far as I can see. That's the tunnel to the active building. Hang on, let's peek over here carefully. Turn off your light. Look in there. Oh my god. This place is full. There's so much stuff left. This place is good. This was a barber shop. These were the place. This was a barber shop. But the chairs are gone. But you could see that's where they'd wash your hair. It says this was the beauty shop. And then there's a barber shop just down the hallway. Okay, maybe the chairs are still in that. Yeah. It looks like this got repurposed from beauty shop to maintenance room at some point. There's um, two active buildings on both sides of this place, so this probably connects. Oh, newspaper. This let's a peek down the shop. hallway first. Wait, let's peek down here first. There's a door. I don't know if it's going to be locked or not. This building actually looks pretty abandoned out here, though. It does. It might not be, though. I don't know. There's a bus right outside, though. Thanksgiving decorations. Everything except Christmas. This room's fucking awesome, though. I got fungicide here. Documents about the hospital. This is incredible. Wow. They even have hair care stuff here still. Sanitizer, aftershave, buzzers. Japanese women in kimonos for some reason.
Come one, come all. Bull Roast Feast. Saturday, August 31st, 1991. Here's the uh, barbering services schedule for the mail wards from 1996. It says Monday was building 39, Tuesdays was building 7, Wednesdays building 7. Showed which ward and what building were able to come here on which day. Let's head back this direction. Oh, did you see these coats hanging up in this corner here? Just one coat. That's a fucking cool doorway over there. Everything looks cool. Let's, oh, yeah. let's go down yeah. here. First, yeah. Hang on, there's a room right here though. <laughs> That's a closet or a back room. Holy shit, it's Wheelchair it's City. Stacked with wheelchairs. Every, every single room. It's stuff filled. Look at the surgical light in the sink. Yeah. Stairwell. storage. Yeah. A bunch of wall art. Yeah, these are probably scattered all around the yeah. hospital. And now they're just stored in here. There's a stage in here. Oh. It's small, but it's still pretty it's small. cool. Small. I like the tiling around it. And of course, it's the hospital colors. Check out this ceiling over here. It reminds me of the growth in the upside down. Just taking over the building. Just this doorway is awesome. The way the stairs lead up to it. I fucking love this place, man. There's holes for lights or projectors or something. Let's check it out. It's locked. Damn. Let's see if we can see anything in there. Now this part of the building is dark. I think this half is all boarded up. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Fashion Fair. Oh shit, there's a casket. No way. Oh, like a Halloween decoration <laughs> or something. We've seen a lot of Halloween decorations around. I bet this place was abandoned near Halloween. Someone tried to burn. Oh yeah, it something. looks burnt for sure. Oh, it was in these rooms. There was a fire set in here. You could see it billowed out this door. There's blue and pink bed frames here. Pretty colorful place. Very pastel. Let's go to the other end of the hallway now.
something in here. Looks like an old pinball machine. Wow. Course it's smashed, but it's yeah. all wooden. That's really amazing. There's a clown on it. Circus. Looks like the fire door worked, just there's way less fire damage over here. Some beds here. These are the uh, beds that can recline and sit up and stuff. Man has always peered fearfully in the future, dreading the glimpse that will sow him um. all the dream. Mr. Daryl Demetrius Diggs. There's a lot of typos in that, so it's hard to read. See that hole in the ceiling right there? You know what would fit there? Oh, shit. An exam or surgical light. Surgical light, yeah. Which means this, this was a surgical room. would have been a surgical room. Yeah, I bet it was. The sterile tiling, too. There's a, a cleaning station or lab over here, too. This was definitely a surgical room. These were all for forceps, needle holders, knife handles, scissors. You need some uh, long mayo regular, because they had that in here. Right next to the knife handle. doors. Let's go to the swing first because it's smaller. Knock it out. These rooms are all empty so far. It's like not only were the doors colorful, but then the paint layer below it was colorful. So this building became even more colorful once it was abandoned because now you're showing multiple layers of color. The elevator carriage is right here. There's a lot of doors over here. The rooms are empty, but the doors themselves are incredible. These doors have some cool portholes on them. Yeah. <laughs> the cracks on this door are amazing. This right here is just something else to look at. So colorful. And the shadows are so perfect. The rooms are empty, but each room has a color scheme that goes with the door. Like these rooms have orange windows, orange walls, orange door. 
Now this one is fully yellow. And this one will be entirely blue. Blue window, blue walls, blue door. And I bet you those pink and blue and yellow bed frames downstairs would have matched the door colors. This room has like an older color scheme beneath the peeling paint. Actually, the tiling was orange underneath it. They painted right over it. Yeah. Originally, it would just been bare brick. Yeah. This place probably seemed really creepy before it had all the bright colors, so they probably tried to cheer the place up a bit with all the colors. Some of these doors still have skeleton keys, but the ones that don't, they literally cut out the door and replaced the lock. Here is their reception desk for up here. Was there anything in these rooms down here? Bathroom, Nothing too exciting. Not a bathroom. A okay. bathroom. The two bat bit tubs. Oh, okay. Bathroom. I don't remember how many floors this building is. I think this, oh, this is the, the last. last one. Yeah. Oh, look. It's just like the floor below it. Well, we have to check every room, just in case. There's cabinets in one of them. A chair just chilling in this one. Well, this is where the ward's desk would be, like the nurses and administrators, and they'd be able to control the lights from in their desk booth thing. But the desk's ripped out, and that's all that's left. That's the same color wood as the desk downstairs. This is gonna be a great shot at the 85. That's a mighty fine chair, just chilling. Perfectly center. The shower room is full of bed frames. It'd be a bit more photogenic if all the bed frames were still in their rooms here, instead of thrown in this room. There's a bed in here. The ceiling's coming down, but it's like the insulation is making its own mattress. It's gross. Bed in here too. Oh yeah. These things are more like cells than hospital rooms. When people say like, oh, that building's haunted. I saw a shadowy figure looking through the window. Nah, no, they're just seeing explorers. Definitely. <laughs> and I'm just standing here looking at cars move around. <laughs> yeah. Wheelchairs roam the halls at night. It's very peach mint in here. That globe light is awesome. Hmm. This window is sealed for some reason. 
but none of the others are. It's an amazing global light. I guess that door could have been considered seeing it. This hallway has a unique color scheme too. This is the rec room. The other side is the dormitory. Ah, oh, there's original lights in here. That's nice. And just oh, layers of paint. Oh, another it's item for a probable bingo. There's no way that's making any noise. Oh, Unless wow. Unless string, play with strings. There's no way this one's gonna <laughs> work. All the hammers are not where they're supposed to be. Well, unfortunately, I think we're done with this building now. I wanted it to keep going. It was so good. But there is another building here to check out as well. If we can make it inside without being caught. Stay tuned for the next episode in which we'll continue our exploration of this sprawling asylum.